Hi everybody, it's Guru Bob and welcome to day five of module seven for the challenge in 2010. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about an action that you can take once you decide to go forward in your micro niche. As I mentioned in the day two video in this module, one of the things that you can do straight away is to start posting on your WordPress direct blog against a wider range of related keywords in your micro niche. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Market Samurai and your Google Analytics account to find those keywords. So let's jump straight in to Market Samurai. Way back in module one, when we showed you the keyword research process using Market Samurai, our goal of that time was to identify candidate category and theme keywords, which meet the sort of criteria that we suggest in the challenge. And those of course are a, a, a SEOT traffic number of 80, phrase to board branch traffic ratio of uh, 15, SEO competition filter of 30,000. At this stage of the challenge, now that you've decided to go forward in your niche and you've tested that niche based on those higher traffic keywords, we now want to use Market Samurai to reveal some additional relevant keywords within the niche that may not, may not meet the traffic criteria that we applied in, in uh, module one, but that still have sufficient traffic to justify making a post or preparing some content to publish onto your site. This is the so-called low hanging fruit or long tail keywords within your niche. Now that you've got a site that's ranking um, in the search engines, Having posted on your site for these, for these lower traffic keywords, which have usually have lesser competition, you should be able to rank for those very quickly and start to re receive traffic for those additional keywords quite quickly as well. So how would we find those keywords? Well, it's really quite simple. All you need to do is to reduce the SEO T filter to a lower number. And I suggest that you use either 10 or 20. Let's try 10. You see at the moment um, in, in the vintage electric guitar niche, we've only got 10 active keywords that meet the, the, the main criteria. But as soon as we reduce the filter to 10, we've now got 30 keywords. Now, if I click on any of these column headers in Market Samurai, it will do a sort um, on, on that column header. And, and here I'm doing a reverse sort based on the competition number. And you can see we've now got keywords here on the left, which um, in some cases have less than 80 searches a day traffic, but also very low competition. So um, if we were to post on our blog for some of these keywords, we might expect to rank for those quite easily um, and we would receive um, you know, some traffic, not as much as the category level keywords uh, for those keywords. Uh, vintage guitar dealers here, this is an interesting one, 24 searches a day, only 5,000 competing pages, classical electric guitar, uh, 49 searches a day, 5,800 SEOC. So this is how we would use Market Samurai to reveal additional relevant keywords within our micro niche um, that we can post on going forward as we, as we uh, attempt to broaden out the keyword focus of our existing site within that niche to attract more traffic. Now another method for uh, finding additional keywords to post onto your site is to use your Google Analytics account. So let's take a look at Google Analytics for the Vintage Electric Guitar blog. And here I've logged into the Vintage Electric Guitar blog for um, uh, inside Google Analytics. And to find the uh, keyword report, I normally click on the traffic sources link here on the left hand side. And on the right hand side here, I can just do a view full report for keywords. And uh, currently I've got that set to show 50 keywords at a time. Now the way this works is this. What this report shows is keywords for which the search engines have sent traffic to the Vintage Electric Guitar blog, principally Google. Now, if the search engines are already sending traffic for these keywords, and we're not optimized for those keywords, it stands to reason that if we post some optimi keyword optimized content onto the blog for these keywords, then we will more than likely rank higher for those keywords. And if we rank higher, then we will expect to receive more traffic. So by regularly researching the, the uh, keywords that the search engines are sending your site traffic for, you can find other posting opportunities um, which might uh, lead to greater traffic over the longer term. 
Now, some of these keywords we are already we are already already optimized for on the site, but there are some that we aren't. Um, you can see here we've we've been receiving traffic for the phrase electric vintage guitar. Now we we have got an optimized post for vintage electric guitar, but not for electric vintage guitar. Um, antique guitar price guide. I don't believe think we've got a a specific post for that for that keyword. Um, and there are several here if I go down the list for which we um, we don't have any optimized content. So you might want to look at your Google Analytics account to find other keyword opportunities to to post. All right, well that's uh, that covers the, uh, the the subject of finding additional keywords using Market Samurai and Google Analytics. This is my last video for the challenge in 2010. I do want to thank you all for participating in the program with us. I hope you appreciated and learnt from the information we provided. Um, it was certainly a pleasure to be able to record this content and bring it to you. I do wish, want to wish you the best of luck in your internet marketing activities going forward into the future.